Hello everyone. In this video, I will discuss about hypersensitivity and allergic reaction. Types of hypersensitivity like type 1, 2 and 3, 4 hypersensitivity will be discussed in this lecture in an animated way. So just see the lecture till end and the basic concept about hypersensitivity will be clear. So without any delay, let's move to the video. So first of all, what is a hypersensitivity? So here, as the term itself indicating hyper plus sensitivity means when your immune system become oversensitive. Hyper means over. So when your immune system become oversensitive and shows some inappropriate response and that inappropriate response when leads to the damage to tissue so that condition is known as hypersensitivity so in simple words hypersensitivity is a condition in which your immune system responds inappropriately and result in the tissue damage and generally this hypersensitivity it occurs or you can say it experienced when the antigen comes second time in the body during the first exposure there is generally no response but when the same allergen comes in the body second time then there will be the development of these hypersensitivities reactions now the types of hypersensitivities so hypersensitivities are generally divided into four types that is type 1 or IgE mediated hypersensitivity type 2 or antibody mediated cytotoxic reactions type 3 or immune complex mediated reactions and type 4 or DTH that is delayed type hypersensitivity. So now let's discuss all of these hypersensitivity in an animated way. So first is the type 1 hypersensitivity which is also known as IgE mediated hypersensitivity because this hypersensitivity is due to the immunoglobin that is Ig. E. So, what exactly happens during this type 1 hypersensitivity? So, to understand this, let's assume that these are the certain portions like here blood. The second portion is tissue and third is lymph node. So, just imagine that in the blood portion, it represents the blood compartment while the tissue portion it represents the tissue compartments and the lymph node means where the lymph nodes are there. So how this type 1 sensitivity develops when the antigen or you can say the allergen it comes inside the body first time. So when it comes first time so as it enter the blood as you can clearly see here these green color dots they represent the allergen. So when the allergen comes inside the body first time, so from the blood, now these allergen, they move inside the tissue. Now inside the tissue, these allergens, these are, you can say, recognized by antigen presenting cell. These antigen presenting cells are those cells which have major histocompatibility complex that is MHC. And due to this MHC, they bind the antigen and present the antigen to immune cells. So here, this allergen, it is recognized by this antigen presenting cell and the MHC molecule, it bind the allergen and now it expose this complex that is MHC antigen or allergen complex to its surface. Now when the, you can say this complex is exposed, so it is now moved to the lymph node portion means now it enter in the lymph nodes inside the lymph node these complex this antigen and allergen complex is recognized by T helper cell as you can clearly see here in this animation and once the T helper cell recognize this MHC and allergen complex it start releasing cytokines so cytokines are those chemical messengers which you can say which ultimately 
गिव द सिग्नल्स टू अदर सेल्स टू कम टू द यू कैन से कम टू द इन्फेक्शन साइट सो हेयर एज दिस टी हेल्पर सेल इज रिलीजिंग द साइटोकाइंस दिस पर्पल डॉट्स दे रिप्रेजेंट द साइटोकाइंस सो दिस साइटोकाइंस दे फर्दर यू कैन से एक्टिवेट द अदर इम्यून सेल दैट इज बी सेल सो दिस बी सेल इट गेट एक्टिवेटेड बाय गेटिंग द मैसेज थ्रू दिस साइटोकाइंस एंड once this b cell get activated now it will proliferate and divide to form plasma b cells and these plasma b cells as we know they release the or you can say they make the antibodies that is ige antibodies and these antibodies these are now moved to the tissue compartment and bind to the surface of mast cell as you can clearly see with this animation now inside the body after the first exposure now inside the body we have the mast cell which have ige antibody present on their surface now what happens when the antigen enters inside the tissue second time so as it enters second time it will now bind to the you can say the antibody ige which is present on the mast cell so as a binding of this allergen to this ige antibody it cause the degranulation of this mast cell due to which it release a chemical that is histamine so this histamine is responsible for the allergic reactions so as you can see that due to histamine release there is the hypersensitivity reaction now in this slide i will discuss the example of type 1 hypersensitivity so one is the hay fever also known as allergic rhinitis so it's a very good example of allergy which generally involve the upper respiratory tract initial exposure which involves the airborne allergen like the pollen fungal spore etc they sensitize the mast cell which are located within the mucous membrane of our respiratory tract and when the same allergen it enter the body second time is re exposure of the allergen it ultimately cause the allergic reaction like itching tearing eyes congested nasal etc so this is the example of type 1 hypersensitivity reaction now type 2 or antibody mediated cytotoxic hypersensitivity reactions so here this is the host cell and in the type 2 hypersensitivity uh, sensitivity reactions the antibody which are generally igg or igm so they are inappropriately directed against the host cell means they you can say they are attacking the host cell so as they recognize the self antigen as the antigen and bind to them and they target their host cell so as they bind to the host cell now this you can say this host cell which has now antibodies attached with itself it is now recognized by the fc receptor of these antibody by effector cell the effector cell may be natural killer cell or cytotoxic t cells so they just recognized these antibody the fc portion of these antibodies and ultimately they when they recognize the you can say host cell which is bound by the antibody which may be either igg or igm now it will just kill that host cell and ultimately cause the apoptosis of this host cell and which lead to the development of inappropriate condition which is a type 2 hypersensitivity again the example of type 2 it involves the wrong blood transfusion so as you know the carl land stener observed that the serum from one person it can agglutinate the blood of another person which ultimately lead to the development of blood grouping system so the type 2 hypersensitivity it includes the response which is shown by a person who receive the blood with a different blood group so when a person receive different blood the reaction occurs inside the uh, patient that is the example of type 2 hypersensitivity reaction now you can say that this type two hypersensitivity reactions they are generally seen in the blood transfusion which are occurs 
as the complement is activated by the cross linking antibodies now the type 3 or immune complex mediated hypersensitivity so here the hypersensitivity is caused by the immune complex means the complex of antigen and antibody so now you can clearly see this is the blood stream the blood vessel in which the blood is flowing and the cells are moving inside the blood and this these blue dots these are the antigens and when they are recognized by antibody they are the formation of this antigen antibody complex or immune complex so when this complex is formed this immune complex now one of the uh, you can say the cells they are leaked out from the blood vessels and bind this immune complex and as they bind with the immune complex they start releasing cytokines and these cytokines they ultimately give the signals to other cells and these other cells after getting the signal from these cytokines they get activated like these neutrophils macrophages so they get activated by the signals from these cytokines and as they get activated so now this macrophages and neutrophils they get activated so increase they increase the phagocytosis and which ultimately increase you can say uh, cause the inappropriate immune response and in addition to this mechanism this immune complex they also interact with the platelet and ultimately they cause the formation of small tiny clots now the example of type 3 hypersensitivity reactions first is sle that is systemic lupus erythromatosis here this sle it is an immune autoimmune disease in which the immune system attack its own tissue which ultimately cause the inflammation and tissue damage it affects the joints skin brain kidney blood vessel now the type 4 or delay type hypersensitivity so the type 4 hypersensitivity it occurs in two phases first is sensitization phase and second is effector phase so first sensitization phase here again imagine the compartment like this is the skin this compartment represents the skin here it's the tissue and again the lymph node so when the allergen comes inside the body first time so from the skin they moves inside the tissue and when they are inside the tissue so they are you can say recognized by antigen presenting cell which have major histocompatibility complex that is mhc so now this mhc and antigen complex is moved to the surface of antigen presenting cells and now this complex is recognized by so it moves to the lymph node and inside the lymph node it is recognized by t helper cells which after recognizing this mhc and allergen complex it release cytokines again saying the cytokines are the chemicals which give message to other immune cells so now the cytokines they activate the macrophages and after you can say getting the signals from the cytokines the macrophages they start getting activated now the second phase is effector phase when the same allergen comes second time inside the body and enter in the tissue so in the second exposure the same process will be repeated and ultimately there will be you can say uh, more number of activated macrophages will be there because the antigen is now enter second time which release in the activation of more and more macrophages and due to the enormous increase in the population of activated macrophages there is the you can say increase in the phagocytosis and ultimately this increase in the phagocytosis it cause the inappropriate reactions or you can say it cause the tissue damage so which is ultimately the type 4 or delay type hypersensitivity but why we are saying that it's a delay type hypersensitivity because there is a lag of few days between the entry of allergen and the you can say the development of symptoms so that's why we are saying it's a delay type hypersensitivity because symptoms they occurs few days later after the exposure of antigen 
now the example of this dth delay type hypersensitivity so the presence of dth means generally how we can detect the dth so generally we can measure it experimentally by injecting the antigen into skin and there will be the development of skin lesions and if there is a development of skin lesions it means that that particular person is allergic to that particular antigen which was injected like for example in case of the tuberculin hypersensitivity test we just intact uh, uh, we just inject the tuberculin protein which is obtained from the mycobacterium tuberculosis which ultimately cause the tuberculosis so this tuberculin it is injected into the skin of forearm and if a person is allergic to this tuberculin so there will be the development of red swollen firm lesions at the site between 48 to 72 hours after the exposure of this antigen so by this we can check the delay type hyper sensitivity so this is all about the types of hypersensitivities that is type 1 2 3 and 4 and their example so this is all about for the today guys see you in the next video thank you very much